In Colossians chapter 2, verse 6 and 7, Paul writes this, And now, just as you have received Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth in which you were taught and you will overflow with thankfulness. This Easter season is a great opportunity for us to be reminded of what made it possible for us to receive Christ Jesus as our Lord. Jesus willingly went to the cross for us. He died the death that we should have and rose from the dead, completing the work necessary for the payment and forgiveness of our sins. This gives, gives us a way to be right with God, and this is amazing. When I came to the place in my life where I realized what Christ had done for me, I willingly received his salvation that he was offering me. In that moment, the Bible says that I became a new creation. I received a new heart and I became one of the many sons of God. What I've come to understand over the last few decades of being a Christian is that the decision I made to receive Christ was just the beginning of my journey with Jesus. Paul writes here in Colossians that we must continue to follow him, continue to walk in him. And as we follow the Lord and soak in his word, the spiritual roots of our lives grow down deep. And it's only after this that we go deep that we can start to see our lives be built up. I remember the first time I saw the Sears Tower in Chicago. It was so massively tall and impressive. When we got to go inside, we got to see how the tower was built and the planning behind the construction. They had models and pictures there, and one of them showed just how deep the foundation went into the ground. They dug 100 feet into the earth and poured a solid five foot thick slab of concrete. Additionally, there were over 200 huge cylindrical Cassian footings made of solid concrete, which were strategically placed around the foundation structure. This thing has strong roots. Strength comes from a firm foundation, and for the Christian today, that foundation is Jesus. His work is sure and settled. Salvation is secure, but we must continue following him with our lives. And as we do that, we'll see our faith strengthen and grow and our joy will overflow this Easter season.